Group. Now, last night on this show, hope you were watching because it was a cool moment when we uh, awarded the sixth man uh, to Jordan Clarkson, and it was Joe Ingles, his teammate, who uh, gave him the news. That was that was a cool moment. Uh, well, today the NBA's most improved player got his hardware from his four-year-old son. <laughs> I was surprised my dad was most warm. Trophy. Who's trophy? My dad's. Oh. Yes, sir. Man, that is one of those moments that is absolutely good for the soul. I mean to tell you, <laughs> Julius Randall, thanks for joining us. I'm going to let these other guys talk hoop with you. I want to talk about Kaiden, and I want to talk about what it felt like when you saw him start walking through that tunnel and out to the floor to hand you that. It was amazing. Uh, yeah, just to have him, uh, I mean, as a dad, uh, you guys know, just to have my son be able to experience these moments with me. Uh, I mean, it's everything I can ask for. So to have him present that award to me was uh, it was an amazing feeling for sure. Julius Shacker, I don't have any questions. One, congratulations. Two, as as the president of the Big Man Alliance, just want to say, <laughs> slow down tomorrow, baby. Take your time. You put New York on the map already. You've been there. Take your time. Me and Charles Field, you was rushing. We know your passion. We know you wanted it. Take it easy, brother. Take it yeah. easy and let the game come to you. That's all I got you to say, are, brother. You already know, man. That, that adrenaline was going. I was hyped. So, uh, got that game on dog, though, man. I'll be excited. We'll be ready to go tomorrow. Julius, I got to say something. That game the other night, I know y'all lost the game, but that crowd was yeah, on was fire. Crazy. That was the first, my first, I can't remember any other game in the last couple of days, obviously, where the crowd was so hyped. What did it feel like when y'all came out? And it was rocking from the beginning, man. As soon as we we pulled up to the arena, uh, they was outside. They were cheering. Uh, our pregame warm ups, everything. Like the energy was crazy. Like you know, Shaq said, "Slow down." Like it was hard, man. <laughs> 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 you know, your journey was going so crazy, man. That second half. By the time that second half came, I was I was done. Like my energy was crashed. So. <laughs> It was fun, man. I, I had a I had an amazing time. Even though we lost, man, uh, it was a learning experience, and uh, just to know that we had the energy of the city, the uh, the support of the city, um, and they're cheering us on like that was amazing. So uh, we'll be sure to, to be ready for the next one. But uh, to answer your question, it was it was it was a lot, man. It was it was fun. Well, first, uh, congratulations, Julius. You know, I know everybody's proud of you back down uh, at home and. Yeah. Down in Kentucky and Tyler Ralph and all the guys who work out with you. And so I know they're excited for you. But I've, I've met a lot of guys who've won this award. And I've heard two things. And I wonder where you stand on it. Uh, one, it's a great award. We, we're not taking anything away from it. But as a most improved player, sometimes guys go, no, I'm good. I'm supposed to be here. And then some guys go, no, I kind of moved into this position and I wasn't expected. Where are you when you sit with this award in that thought process? Uh, for me, I take it. Uh, I mean, for me, it's definitely a, it's a um, it's an honor uh, just because of of how I view the game um, in a sense of uh, when the summertime comes, uh, that's really where I have the most fun because I enjoy the process of getting better. Uh, so I always say, you look at the trajectory of my career. Like every year, I've taken steps forward uh, to get better and improve my game, and that's really what I'm proud of. Like I never want to feel like I'm staying in the same spot or I'm not getting better. So uh, for me, uh, I think this war just really, uh, you know, embodies who I am as a person, uh, you know, as far as uh, what I put towards the game, uh, my work ethic, uh, just the grind, just the process. So uh, for me, I look at it as, you know, just uh, like I said, it just embodies who I am as a person, as a player. Well, winning two years in a row then. That would be something different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, that's honestly, you, you, it's funny you say that because it's, it's honestly like I was thinking that like in my thought process, I'm like, 
this is what I enjoy. Like, I enjoy getting better. I was like, has anybody ever won the award twice? Like, like that's that's kind of like how my thinking is as far as like, I just want to keep improving. I, I want to keep making leaps. So, uh, you know, it's funny you said that. I want to ask you this one. When did it click? And you're like, these guys can't stop me. I think in every <laughs> player, I think in every, when you're in high school, when you're in college, and now you're in the NBA, something happens, you're like, I'm really good. They can't stop me. I just got to play hard, and the rest will take care of itself. Yeah, I think I, I had moments in my career uh, throughout the uh, throughout my career where I felt like, I definitely felt like that. And, uh, you know, a lot of things in the NBA are about opportunity, uh, you know, and I, I came in a, in the right situation. I, I wanted this challenge of being in New York. I wanted the opportunity. And then... Uh, you know, Tibbs did an uh, amazing job of just empowering me as a player and, and as a leader of his team. And uh, I didn't really want to, I didn't want to take that for granted. So, uh, honestly, from game one this year, uh, my mindset was was a lot different. And uh, I just kind of wanted to dominate every night in, night in, night out. Julius Randle, congratulations. Most improved player. Uh, uh, give uh, give Kaiden our best, will you? <laughs> Absolutely. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we appreciate you too. Thanks. Don't man. listen to Spike Lee. <laughs> <laughs> man, that is so awesome. Larry Nance Jr., he's a beast. Man, that is awesome.